Hey, it's Peter Yastro from the floor of the CME Group. This morning we're talking about the trend lines that are existing in S&P. You might have seen me on CNBC a little bit earlier. We're talking about the resistance that comes in. It started in the beginning of May. There's a top to the stock market. There's also good support in the stock market. That starts back in March. Well, if you look at the lines of support and the lines of resistance, they actually come together in the next couple of sessions. This should lead to some pretty good fireworks. What I would expect is we get some kind of up trade out of there, suck in a lot of bulls, and then it's a sellout. The bears are going to have to be patient, probably wait for all their S&P puts to expire worthless before they actually get short and see it reset. Um, in addition to that, we're talking about how the data today was again weak. The Fed is on hold. They're on hold for a long, long time. But that's not bad for stocks. Do not sell stocks because you think the economy's bad. That's not how it works. If the economy's bad, interest rates stay low. Interest rates staying low is a good thing for stocks. So you only want to sell the real dogs and pigs. Stay away from the market as a whole because it will not go down. On a lighter note, what's the difference between Ben Bernanke and Harry Houdini? Well, Ben Bernanke's not a magician. So for all of you who are trying to wait for Ben Bernanke to fix all your problems, just remember he can't. All he can do is buy us time and wait for us to inflate our way out of what's a very serious housing mess that still continues to plague our economy. This is Peter Yastro from the CME Group. Thank you.